If your beat sounds something like this, then you're missing an essential ingredient. Could you hear the missing ingredient? If not, don't worry. That's because the beat is actually pretty good the way it is. The kick pattern is a two bar rhythm, which gives the drum beat variety. There's also some offbeat kicks, which add groove. The hi-hat accents change in the second bar, which creates more variety. And the regular backbeat snare provides momentum. It's a decent drum beat. So what's wrong with it then? Well, it's a bit stiff and lifeless. And what's the missing ingredient that will transform this decent beat into a great beat? Hip hop. Wait, what? Isn't hip hop a genre? Yes, of course. But as with all genres, there are theoretical characteristics that make music recognizable as hip hop. And those characteristics can be isolated and applied to other genres to spice them up. And considering hip hop has been the most popular genre for the last few years, if we want people to connect with our music, then there's a lot we can learn from hip hop's secret formula. As you've probably heard in the music news, hip hop is celebrating its 50th anniversary in 2023. In its 50 years, hip hop has influenced almost every other genre. That fact inspired the idea behind our epic new genre project. In this ongoing series, we'll hack different genres to reveal their secret formulas and how you can use those formulas to make better music in whatever genre you work in. So, if there's a genre you want us to hack, drop us a comment. And just a quick caveat, genres are also recognizable by non-theoretical characteristics, like instrumentation, and even some non-musical characteristics, like culture. But here at Hack Music Theory, we focus exclusively on melody, harmony, and rhythm. Also, every genre's characteristics have their roots in earlier genres. However, exploring a genre's heritage is a rabbit hole. A fun one, but still, we're not going down there. All right, let's jump in. So in this lesson, you're gonna learn three characteristics of hip hop beats, which you can apply to your own genre to spice up your drums. Hack one, hip hop kicks. Hip hop is all about groove. And one of the easiest ways to instantly add groove is to change your grid to 16th note triplets. Okay, well, you have to do a little more than just change your grid, but that's the game changer right there, seriously. All you do now is move your kicks onto that new grid. And by the way, the tempo of our example is 84 BPM. Also, depending on where your kicks were before, some of them might sound weird on the new 16th triplet grid, but just delete those weird sounding kicks. The magic hip hop kick that probably adds the most groove is on the 16th note triplet right before beat three. So that's what we played. And you can hear this magic hip hop kick everywhere, but a classic example is in Wu-Tang's 1993 track, Cash Rules Everything Around Me. Right, here's our drum beat after applying hack one. Hack two, hip hop snare. Hip hop usually uses a regular backbeat snare, which is on beat two and beat four. Now, there's obviously nothing unusual about that, but where hip hop gets creative with the snare is by adding a syncopated hit to the drum beat. And syncopation just means it's played off the beat. In other words, in between the main beats. This snare is often on the 16th triplet grid as well. So we added this syncopated snare on the 16th note triplet right before our kick that's on beat three and. And you can hear this hip hop snare everywhere, but a classic example is in Ice-T's 1986 track, Six in the Morning. Right, here's our drum beat after applying hack two. And just before we jump into hack three, we wanted to let you know about our free book. It only takes 30 minutes to read, then you'll have a solid music theory foundation that you can instantly apply to your producing. If that sounds useful, then you can download our free book at hackmusictheory.com. Hack three, hip hop hats. Many other genres use the hi-hats as the pulse, simply a way of keeping time. Not hip hop though, oh no. Great hip hop producers never waste an opportunity to be creative. So we don't need to be restricted to those boring metronome style hi-hat patterns here. 
Pretty much anything goes when it comes to the hi-hat, as your groove is already established from your kick, and the momentum is coming from the snare, so you're free to experiment on the hats. That's exactly what we did here by creating a similar but different rhythm for bar 1 and bar 2, all still on that 16th triplet grid. And you can hear those hip hop hats everywhere, but a classic example is in Dre's 1999 track, Forgot About Dre. Right, now have a listen to how these hacks have totally transformed our drums. So first you'll hear the original beat, then you'll hear it with these three hacks applied. And by the way, if you want to get your hands on our Hip Hop Drum Secrets PDF, which includes a bonus hack that we have not covered here, as well as MIDI and WAV file examples, then you can download the PDF at hackmusictheory.com slash genres. So, no matter what genre of music you make, whenever your beats are sounding a bit stiff and lifeless, apply these hip hop hacks and they'll instantly pump your drums full of energy and groove.